This week we're in for a real treat as we're taking a tour around this plants woman's garden. You've got bean archers, there are courgettes growing amongst the other flowers, we've got tubs of parsnips and carrots and then at the back of there we've got a bag of potatoes which are just ready to be harvested. I'm really looking forward to getting a rootle around in this garden. be forgiven that at this time of year in September there's not much colour in the garden but actually as you can see there's loads and loads. As we move through the seasons you can see that there are fruits on this sorbus which are developing I think this one's Velmorii and these lovely white kind of uh, most people will think they're berries they hang on to the bare stems of the tree right through um, autumn and into winter time. Then as we move down the border we've got loads of dahlias in various different colours and they'll go on flowering and flowering as long as you keep taking off the dead heads and you leave those in the ground until the first frost come and then as they get blackened by the frost you can then cut them back. We're walking through now here um, and we've got some crocosmia that are just still in flower, some late flowering gladioli and then these quite majestic sunflowers which are absolutely covered in insects, bees and ladybirds and I think they're probably um, seed that has set itself because just behind here we've got a peanut hanger and maybe there was some bird food that dropped down there and these all sprung up. This garden's full of quirky little surprises and I love the way that this sweet pea has been almost trained itself through the support of this sunflower. I, do, I just think that looks great and that's really the theme of this garden. It's lots of plants all crammed together, fighting for the space and they seem to be really thriving on it. Talking of something that's not thriving are the patches in the lawn. Bear patches in the lawn, such as this one, are quite common at this time of year because of the wear and tear that the lawn has had to put up with throughout the year. And they're not a major problem, but you can do something about it now. If you just take a fork and lightly prick over the surface of the soil, just to relieve any compaction, and just fluff the soil up a little bit, and then take some grass seed, and just lightly sprinkle it over the top of the area like so. And once you've done that, cover the seed lightly with the soil and pat it down. If your topsoil is not very good, you can sprinkle over some compost just to lightly firm that down and cover it. Um, and then keep it watered over the next week or so and you'll slowly see the seed germinating. The programme of Autumn Lawn Care really starts in earnest this month and there are a few jobs that you need to do and also habits that you need to change. The first thing is to raise the blades on your mower and you'll also increase the intervals in which you are mowing the lawn so maybe doing it every other week rather than doing it every week as you'll notice that the growth of the lawn is slowing down. Worms may also become active this month and there are no chemical treatments for worms, thankfully. So all you need to do is just brush the worm casks from the lawn if they become a nuisance. One thing which they don't like is an acidic soil and if worms are a real problem in the garden, you can apply a lawn sand to the lawn in spring. The beginning of the month is maybe a little bit too early to be doing this and scarifying the lawn at this time of year is going to be quite tricky and it's better to wait later on in the month until it gets a bit wetter and a bit more moist um, but we thought we'd do it early so that you get a chance to gather together the tools and the materials that you're going to need. If we just take a look at this type of rake it's really really good because if you break one of these plastic tines they're easy to remove and on the back of the rake there's this handy storage compartment where you can just clip one of these out and replace it in there. Scarifying the lawn is the first stage of the lawn maintenance programme and once you've done that and taken out all the dead grass and the moss which is called thatch, the next stage is to just lightly prick over the surface of the soil. There are two implements which you can use, either the border fork or one of these special aerators. 
Now, if you're on a heavy clay soil like we are here, um, this is probably the best of the two because you can push that right into the ground and you can take out cores of the clay soil and put some sharp sand in there uh, and that'll improve the drainage on this rather compacted heavy clay soil. If you are on a lighter soil, not sand, but lighter, lighter clay, you can just prick over the surface and you basically alleviate the soil like that every kind of six inches. And on a garden of this size, you might want to hire a machine. And for a really superb lawn next spring, apply a top dressing of a autumn feed which is high in phosphorus. This will encourage good root development over the winter and then the grass will be really, really lush next spring. That's everything for this week. Join us next time when we'll be back in the Spear and Jackson garden dividing up some herbaceous perennials. But until then, have a great gardening week.